Namaste. I have uh, a question from one of my clients, Spandana. She says, Mekhla, can you now help me sort out my uh, relationship issues? Can astrology help in solving my problems with different relationships? Yes, Spandana, definitely, I can help you. So you have to specifically tell me what exactly is your problem. So astrology does solve all related um, issues of relationships, whether it's with your parents or with your spouse or with your uh, boyfriend or if you have a family and you want some issues to be sorted out with the family, extended families, anybody, friends also for that matter. So you have not clearly stated because we have uh, so far only solved your financial issues. We have not looked into your personal life at all. Uh, the last time you mailed me and uh, we took up your consultation, it was all about um, your finances only. So now if you can just send me in detail exactly which aspect you want to look into, uh, I can definitely help you with that because you as a personality are surrounded by a lot of relationships. So the moment you're born as a human being, you're exposed to so many people and the very first people you're exposed to is your immediate family. This immediate family is nothing but your parents and then your siblings. So I want to know specifically what exactly you want me to help you with and I can do it definitely. So uh, assuming you want um, you want better relationship with your parents, you want a deep understanding, let's work on that. And uh, if you're saying that you have a problem with your colleague, yeah, let's work on that. Because if you have problems with your colleagues, you are also likely to have problems with your siblings. So it's a common planet which will take care of both the relationships. So what I can do is uh, we can sit and if you give me an indication which area is problematic, then we can just sit and work on that. Okay. Okay, Spandana. So you please write to me so we can take it up. Thank you. So I just read out a mail from my client Spadhana, but she inspired me to write all this on the board today. And I just want to take a moment for all of you who are also not very clear in what you want. So when you're approaching me, I want you to sit through and think exactly what is it that you want as astrology consultation for relationships, because it saves time and we can uh, solve your problem faster. Okay. So if you see uh, any of you, actually, if you are an individual, you're surrounded by a lot of people around you. So whether it's your immediate family, like your parents, your sibling, your children, okay um then sibling i mean brothers and sisters as you already know so or it could be your spouse your life partner your boyfriend or girlfriend whatever it is okay so that is one thing or if you're already married your husband wife whatever then um if you are working so you may have relationship problems with your colleagues with your bosses with your clients i've not mentioned clients but yeah that also we do take care okay and then um, definitely in indian families more so we are all so well bonded we are not married to an individual we're married to a family that's what we say right so here you see that um, you have in-laws you have uh, co-brother co-sister sister-in-law you know all these relationships everything is very closely knit in an indian family so if you want to sort out any of your relationships just ask me okay so you can consult me and we will uh, see what is wrong see because i have mentioned friends here and very rarely people have problems with friends okay and if you have any problems with any of these aspects because usually what we say is if you're not so close enough to your family you can still trust your friend but there are people who also have issues with friends because mostly trust related issues or getting cheated and things like that so then you please do not uh, ignore that uh, for a long time because we can rectify and make things better we do have certain pujas like um, we call it the aikya matya sukta homa okay it's a vedic uh, chant and we use that mantra to uh, cement relationships to create bond deep love respect and understanding between relationships and i think you should not ignore a rotten relationship for a long time you should attend to it and bring closure closure I mean to say either you you be good friends or you make sure um, that you know that person doesn't trouble you anymore or interfere with your growth plan in life so that's why I said you have to get closure in all aspects of your relationship and have a conclusion like yeah okay now we're back we are friends again or we are in a good relationship again now we have a deep bond we are working towards that at least you know that should be the attitude or if they are totally inimical that's what I've written here. Do you have enemies? So if you have enemies, you should definitely not relax. You have to take some action because 
it could be their uh, you know emotion of jealousy it could be hatred it could be anger it can be simple things like anger Ang if it's in the anger stage then something can be done to make sure they don't cause damage to your aura but if it is beyond that if it's already gone to the hatred mode let us sit and see whether it ha it can be uh, made any better whether they can come back to the friend zone or any of these zones or do you want to be permanently cut off from their relationship because they should not harm you in the end of the day so that's exactly what our intention is when we say you can ask about astrology consultation for relationships what i mean to say is our effort will be to cement relationships as much as possible because it's always good to have people on your side because we always look at people as the biggest wealth I'm not talking about money at all. I'm just saying the love, the energy, the vibration, the company they give. That is very, very uh, valuable because it's of immense value when you have a good uh, network of people around you. You feel so good. Your morale is uh, fantastic. You, are, you have a lot of confidence. And when you need something, they're always there for you. So it's always good to be in that mode rather than be in this mode of having enemies with you. And once you have enemies, you're only trying to fight, trying to do the uh, patchwork we call call it you know the trying to control the damage they cause for you uh, they go on the other side some of them even try to do black magic and all use negative forces even if they don't do anything even their uh, jealous intentions or hatred definitely affects your aura we call it the chaitanya in sanskrit so it affects your chaitanya don't let somebody's negativity affect you in uh, any point of time so if you feel there is somebody who's not happy with your growth somebody who's always trying to trouble you i think you just need to see an astrologer and that's me so please don't hesitate contact me and we can sort out all your relationship issues okay thank you